power of movement, horse and rider performing in unison, speed, precision, grace, evolved from the gritty reality of a cowboy's life on the range into a shining world-class international sport, creating common ground in a world where that seems more important than ever. They call it reining, a simple name for an incredibly difficult and complex event that requires a horse to work in willing partnership with the rider, launching into a gallop with the push of a heel, dropping back to a gentle lope with a slight shift in the saddle, sliding 30 feet to a stop on just the word whoa. All part of a complicated pattern that requires horse and rider to complete each maneuver at just the right place in the arena in just the right order. Some compare the complexity of a reining pattern to compulsory figure skating. Others liken the discipline to the most maddening of sports. People say it's like golf where you, you're always playing against yourself all the time and you're trying to make yourself better and no matter how good you get, you're, you think you get good and you, you keep making mistakes and you go and try again. It's much like golf. I mean, one day you're good and one day you're off and it's just you and your horse. But the thing I always think about that makes this like one level harder is the golf ball doesn't have a brain. And what we're trying to deal with does. And that's the hardest part of dealing with these horses, is figuring out how they're thinking and what it is they want to do that day. So what keeps Rainers in the pen working to improve day after day? Part of it is the challenge of a sport. Yeah, one. That'll make you an addict in an instant, but take a lifetime to master. Two, thirty, three. Our daughter got addicted and she got us all kind of hooked on it. I love to compete and I just, I mean, I love the adrenaline rush of competing with people. It's just because it's a wonderful sport. It's one of the most exciting things to do. It's fun, it's a challenge, and it's a thrill. Give it up. Maybe it's just that simple. Raining is a blast. I know for me it's, even whenever I'm practicing or when I'm showing, whenever they just do something right, exactly how I want it. I just get goosebumps. I don't know. I can't explain it, I guess. Anybody can do it. The young, the old, are, can do it and be competitive. And the thrill of winning a buckle may be a big part of it, too. It's pretty cool. I wear it every day. <laughs> Whatever it is, reigning somehow creates in these individual competitors a sense of team even a sense of family. Every time you come to a horse show, you're with that big extended family again. So, I mean, they you meet them every three, four times a year and everyone gets together and everyone's just so happy to see each other. And, that, and they're all cheering for everyone else in the pen. So we are like one big family. I love the animals. I love the sport. I love the people in the sport. Um, it's a great place to ride and, you know, to, to meet with everybody. and see everybody and it's just you know the the, the people and the and the horses it, it all it comes all in one so I, it keeps bringing me back the best thing about the rain and horse industry i believe is the friendship that you make with all of the people from the guys that are the top open riders to the non-pros that are just getting started and i just truly believe that it's a a sport that the whole family can enjoy. And now that family is growing ever larger as reigning moves into international circles, becoming the first Western discipline sanctioned by the International Equestrian Federation, the first Western event included in the World Equestrian Games, and a candidate to become the next Olympic equestrian sport. The challenge and camaraderie of reigning, the speed and athleticism of the horses have put chaps and cowboy hats on riders in more than 40 countries. From Belgium, Czech Republic, Israel in the Dominican Republic, and Italy. I'm from Germany. Filled coliseums around the world with droves of fans ready to cheer on their own. Whatever languages these reigning enthusiasts speak in their native countries, in the reigning arena, there's a language everybody understands, built on the love of the horse, the rugged individualism of the cowboy, and the quest for perfect teamwork between the two. We do share a common idea, common ground, so to speak. Uh, the love of the horses, the uh, 
love of the Western saddle and the Western style of riding, who's just really, you know, and the cowboy hat has just taken a life of its own. A life of striving for your personal best, making friends along the way, appreciating great horses. It's a universal experience that transcends all borders. As reigning gallops toward the future, one thing is certain, the world can always use more common ground, even if it is flying beneath the feet of a horse.